Hi there, this is Jason McConnell, and in this quick tip we're going to cover a few techniques that you can use right here in Illustrator to make flannel and other types of plushy fabric textures. So what we'll do is I'll start out with a rectangle. We'll get a nice big rectangle here. And then we will copy this and do a paste in front, which is Command F on a Mac or Control F on Windows. All right, now that we have that rectangle on top, we'll put the effect on it. So I'll do Effect. SVG filters, a place where people usually don't go. And there are several in here. I'm going to start with static. All right, and this is starting to look like texture now, but you can see that there's lots of different colors and, and probably not what you want. So uh, what you can do is just go to your transparency panel and change the blending mode to luminosity. All right, and now you see that it, it all retains the same hue of the color below it, but it's either lightening it with the light colors of the texture or darkening it with the dark colors of the texture. Okay. Now the next step, which is really important, is we need a, a repeat box in this. So for versions of Adobe Illustrator up to CS5, uh, you'll have to do this manually, or you can in CS6 or CC, you can go into the pattern feature and uh, create the pattern like that. But this will work for all versions. So I'm going to do, because I have that rectangle still in my clipboard, I'll deselect and I'll do edit, paste and back. And then I'm going to go ahead and make that transparent fill and stroke. All right, next I'll select all three of these pieces, the transparent box, the color, and the texture, and drag it into my swatches. I'll take my magic wand on the robe, click the white parts, and then fill with a new texture. All right, and there you have it. Now there are other textures that you can do. So let me just select this piece. I'll go to the appearance panel and remove the effect. And now we'll go to a couple other effects. So you can do effect, SVG filters. And instead of static, you can do turbulence three. It's still set to luminosity. Otherwise you're going to get something like this. Lots of colors, which we don't want, so we'll do luminosity. So it'll give you a nice plushy wool fabric texture. All right, I'll undo that. And then you can also try SVG filters, turbulence five. Very similar to the static, maybe a little bit bigger. Uh, one thing I forgot to mention is you can change the opacity. You can lower that to kind of lower the height of your fabric texture. If you only want to give it a little bit of texture, you can lower the opacity, but I'll bump that up. Okay, and then the last one you can do is effect, SVG filters, and wood grain, and maybe lower the opacity here a little bit, and you'll get an even bigger, thicker, chunkier fabric texture. All right, so that's how you make textures. What I would do is if I want to recolor these, Instead of making new swatches, I'd probably just go up to my Recolor Artwork button here for Live Color. And then I can change the colors here. Let's get an orange. Hit OK. And there you go. It even adds a new pattern swatch for you. All right, so that's it for this video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.